Hey guys, what's going on? Today's uh, project, we're going to put some uh, front brake pads on this third gen Cummins Dodge. Uh, there's about 105,000 miles on this truck, about 170,000 kilometers. And uh, this truck's still running the original Mopar brake pads from when it was brand new. Uh, I know because I've owned it that long. And uh, so I've decided to replace them with Mopar pads. Uh, they weren't uh, they weren't cheap. They were about uh, I don't know. I think about 190 bucks, something like that. Anyway, there. Here's the part number, and uh, we'll get underway. Okay, I'll get this thing on uh, on jack stands. Pull the wheels off, and then we'll go from there. Wheels up, and the truck is uh, jacked up and on jack stands. Just make sure make sure you're safe. Uh, you can see I've got two jack stands on this one side. And uh, jack stand on the other side as well. So before we get underway, just crack the box open and have a look. So we got the four pads and then uh, nine pieces of hardware here. Slides <clears throat> look like an extra one for the pads. And we'll pop the caliper off. Okay, I got a nine sixteenths here to get the caliper off. I got the two caliper bolts off. Got the caliper off the uh, rotor. Tied it off the mechanics wire. Just hung it off that top bolt at the top of the coil springs here. Uh, pads are still sitting on the uh, caliper. We'll uh, pull those off for a closer look. It looks like the rotor's in uh, pretty good shape. There's no ridges or anything to uh, to sand off, so that's good news. Okay, got the brake pads off. You can see there's not much life left in these pads. They weren't squeaking or making any noise, so I probably could have run them a little longer. But uh, there's not much left here on that one side. And it looks like the backing plate is actually all corroded off here on the on the inside pad. So the hardware we're going to swap out here are these little uh, slides, so they just pop out. And there's one up here as well. So when the brake pads are on, these slides slide on this uh, portion of the pad right here where my thumb is, the end of my thumb. So we're going to need to get a little grease on those, and as I said, a little grease on the inside of these uh, new clips. And there's two clips at the back you'll need to pull out as well, one here. And then one up here. Okay, I've got the four new clips on. So I'm going to take this uh, brake lubricant and I'm going to lubricate these clips on the insides here, all four of them. And then I'm going to lubricate the ends of the brake pads. So here, 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 and here. So those are the areas that ride on these clips. All right, you can see I've got a very light coat of grease on the end of the brake pads here and then just a uh, film in the uh, clips there. So I'll pop the, cad, the uh, brake pads back in. Got the new brake pads in place. Uh, had to wrestle with the front one a little bit, but uh, we got them in no problem. And so now I've taken the cap off the brake fluid reservoir up top here, top right, you see that there? And I've taken the uh, old set of brake pads, placed it on top of the pistons, and uh, on the outside of the caliper, so I have a flat spot to uh, put my clamp on. So I'm gonna just refund that with my clamp, put those pistons back in place in order to slip it over the new pad, which are, uh, pads, which are much thicker than the, uh, the old worn ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, that uh, worked pretty well. Pushed the pistons back uh, as far as I could. The rubber uh, seats are sitting a little off, but uh, we'll slip those over the pads now and bolt the caliper back into place. What you need to do before you put the uh, caliper back on is to pull these guide pins out. These boots will just uh, slide off. There's at the mounting position for the caliper here and here. Pull these pins out. And then just put a uh, coat of anti-seize or grease or something on these pins so they don't seize up in the future. I had a bit of a problem on both uh, bottom uh, the bottom uh, guide pin on both sides it was slightly seized so uh, took a bit of effort to get it out but but it's good to go now With those guide pins greased up we've got the caliber back on it slid uh, on pretty easy just make sure your pistons are all the way back before you try it and uh, now we're going to retighten these uh, 13 millimeter bolts uh, into the guide pins got the calipers back on both sides those 13 millimeter bolts tightened up not sure what the torque spec is but uh, if I remember, I'll put it in the description. And uh, then I'll pop the wheels back on, get it off the jacks, and give her a road test. Anyway, that's it for putting pads on the uh, front brake pads on a third gen Cummins. Thanks for watching.